Hey there, Kath for iDriveRideShare.com to talk about the iDrive for Uber app. Download it and if you're not quite sure where to start, this is the video for you. It's the perfect app for all rideshare drivers. Let's take a look. Okay, you've downloaded the app from the store and you're opening it for the first time. You'll see three pop-ups, two asking you if you want to use GPS, yes you do as that's how the app automatically tracks total shift mileage, and one reminding you to set up a tax year, a fiscal year. No problem, that's one of the first things we'll do. Let's start with step one, adding your name to the app. iDrive tracks shifts by driver name, so if more than one driver uses the same car, it can capture total vehicle information and individual driver shift information, both of which are critical for tax reporting. Setting the fiscal year is what we'll do next as we add our accounting settings. From the main screen, open the menu, tap the clipboard icon. Tap the settings gear icon and that will take us over to the settings page. All of the app settings are links from here. At the top you can see your phone and the app have been talking and your basic system has already been identified. Tap accounting settings. We want to make sure our work week starts on the same day as the Uber partner pay statements. The fiscal year is 2018 here in Australia and yes it does start in July and we can see that the standard mileage rate, the 5000k limit and the GST settings are correct. Every country is different be sure to set yours to meet your country's tax obligations. And that's it for accounting settings. Step three is to add vehicle details. The app opens with two blank cars named My Car 1 and My Car 2. The app tracks your driving by vehicle name, and this is the only field it really needs. The rest of these here are for your convenience to use or not. Tap the car's picture at the top to select it and then enter a name or some label to identify your car here. Do the same thing to set up the second car if you have one. For example, maybe you drive X and XL and in that case you'll swipe to switch between them from the main screen as you start driving a shift. Most of us though only drive one car and so in that case delete the second car. You can always use the new button to add another car to the app. If you want to personalize your car's image, tap the camera icon. Select an image from your phone's gallery or take a picture of your car. Square images do work best. On every shift you drive, you'll see which car was used, making it easy to manage your work log records on your phone. Next step four, set the initial odometer reading. So when you first start using this app, you'll need to come up with the starting odometer reading for the tax year, and then at the end of the year, you'll come back here and enter the ending odometer. To know the business use of your car, most drivers use their car for personal reasons too, you need to know the distance you drove ride sharing and the total mileage you put on the car over the year. This last odometer reading comes in automatically if you enter your current odometer reading when you purchase fuel. And that's what the app uses to calculate your current business use percent on vehicle details or my money screens. The quarterly odometer readings are there simply for your convenience. If you want to use them, they're there. The last step is to choose fuel receipt defaults. You'll want to record all fuel purchases so you can deduct the business use percent of them when you do your taxes. So cash, debit, credit card, there's probably a way you typically pay for your fuel. Regardless of your settings here, you can change it when you're making a fuel purchase. This setting just makes the process faster. And you can select business expenses and fuel to automatically categorize them in your records. That's it for initial setup, folks. You're ready to hit start driving in the app and start tracking your rideshare business. What's next? Have you downloaded the iDrive for Uber app, installed it, and done the basic setup we've just talked about yet? If not, go get it now. If you have a question or comment or an idea to share with other rideshare drivers, visit us on Facebook, iDrive Rideshare, or for specific app stuff, iDrive for Uber app. We've got posts and tips to help you stay informed, 
use the app, drive smarter, and make more money. Uh, what exactly are we going to do now? Now, we ride. Right.